Cześć! To ja, Arnold. Witam serdecznie to a new episode of Hey Polska, your channel where you can learn Polish step by step. Because we've started a new year, and here's my question, what does new year mean in Polish? Exactly, nowy rok. And because we've started a nowy rok, I want to talk to you about the ultimate basics of Polish language. So here we go. Zaczynamy. So let's go right ahead into it and let us talk about the word basic. What does basic mean in Polish? Basic means podstawa. 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 And basics, the plural form, means podstawy. Podstawy. So it's important to have this y sound at the end of the word. So it's not podstawi, it's podstawy. Podstawy. We go down with the word. Podstawy. Podstawy. And because we have many, several podstawy, basics, I created some categories. So the first category in Polish, pierwsza kategoria, pierwsza kategoria, pierwsza kategoria, first category, is the greeting. In Polish, powitanie. 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 So we say every single letter. Powitanie. Powitanie. Very clear, very straight. And every vowel is very clear, very open. Powitanie. Powitanie. And the most common powitanie and greeting is the word or the saying good morning or good afternoon. In Polish we only have one form. It's dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. And here's the thing. Let us have a look at the word dzień. Dzień. First of all we have a D. Then we have a Z. These both letters together create the the sound z, 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 z. But afterwards we have the E. And the Z and the E together create a Z sound. So again, we show some teeth. Z, 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 but we have a D before them. So we have to say Z. Z, 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 z. Z. So it's very soft and it's very expand. Z, 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 z. Then we have a open e sound. J, J, J. And at the end we have a apostrophe N. And here's the thing: if you speak Spanish or you've learned Spanish, you already know the N letter. So it's the N with a little wave on it. In Polish, we have the same sound. We just, instead of a wave, we do this apostrophe on it. So it's dzień. It's no literally strong, hard N sound. It's more an N. 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 Like in the words senor. It's not senor. It's senor. It's very smooth. It's very soft. Jeng. Jeng. So we have to wave over this word. Jeng. Jeng. Dobry. Dobry. The o is very open. O, o, o. Do. Dry. And at the end, we again have this Y sound. So we have to go down. Dobry. Dobry. So together, dzień dobry. 
Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. Good morning, good afternoon. Dzień dobry. In the evening, you say Dobry wieczór. Dobry wieczór. So we learned the word dobry. Good. And now let's have a look at the word wieczór. We start with a W, 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 w. Then we have an E and an E, wie, wie. Then we have a CZ. These both together create which sound? Ch. Correct, like in the word chair. So we have wiecz, wiecz. And the next letter maybe is new for you. So let's have a look at it. It's an apostrophe O. Having an apostrophe O, you always have to say this letter as an U. So an U, 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 U. Wieczu, wieczu. And then we have a R, which we roll. Wieczur, R, wieczur, wieczur. Wieczur, dobry wieczur. Dobry wieczór. Dobry wieczór. Dobry wieczór. So, in the morning and during the day we use Dzień dobry. Dzień dobry. And in the evening we use Dobry wieczór. Dobry wieczór. Dzień dobry. Dobry wieczór. An informal way to say Hi. Hello. So you use it by saying hi to a friend, to a colleague, to your siblings, your family, whatever. You say cześć. 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 So first of all we have a CZ and again it's ch, like in the word chair. Ch, 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 ch. Then we have a clear open e. E. Cze. Cze. And then we have two apostrophe letters. First we have a S with an apostrophe on it, so the apostrophe S. So it's not sh, sh, sh with squeezed lips, but we expand the sound to sh, 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 sh. And then the apostrophe C. Ch, ch, ch. So it's not ch, ch, ch. it's ch, ch, ch. Cześć, cześć, cześć. The end is very smooth. Think about it, it's very important. You never want to punch no one into the face verbally, so we have to smooth it up. Cześć, 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 cześć. Another way to say hi is to say hey, hey. So here we have H E J. Hey, that's it. Hey. And a third way to say what's up or hey guys means Shema. Shema. So we start very expanded. Then we have an open E, then an M and an A. Shema. 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 So we have three ways to say hello, hi in an informal way. Cześć, hej, siema. Cześć, hej, siema. Cześć, hej, siema. The second category, so druga kategoria, druga kategoria, druga kategoria, is the way of asking, how are you? How are you? And in Polish we have to distinguish between the way of saying how are you in an informal way. So we say Jak się masz? Jak się masz? Jak się masz? So jak means how. Się is an additional word which I will explain to you later. So we have sh, 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 very expanded sh, and then we have a e with a hook on it. So here is the thing, because it's at the end of the word you have two several ways of saying it. It's up to you. Whether you say xiang, xiang, with a very nasal sound, 
or you say xie, xie, xie. So you can say yak xie or yak xie. Yak xie, yak xie. It's up to you. Mash, mash. Yak xie mash or yak xie mash. In a formal way, so you are speaking with a man or a woman you don't know, you have to ask the man or the woman by saying sir or madam. So sir in Polish means pan. Pan. Madam means pani. Pani. So if you want to ask someone in a more formal way, and if it's a man, you have to ask jak się pan ma? Jak się pan ma? Jak się pan ma? If it's a woman, you have to ask jak się pani ma? Jak się pani ma? Jak się pani ma? Jak się pan ma? Jak się pani ma? Another way of asking someone how are you is what's up in a informal way. So, co słychać? Co słychać? The word co means what and słychać is to hear. Let us have a look at the word słychać. Słychać. So first of all we have a s sound, then we have a strike through l. So the w and we use it as the same sound in English like what, where. So the W sound is the strike through L in Polish. W, sw, sw. Then again we have the Y, so it's U, sw. Then the CH, which we say together, not as a CH, but more like a H, H, H. So a very strong H sound, H, like in the word horse. <laughs> so, swich, swich, a, swicha, and then the expanded chi sound, swichać, swichać. Co swichać? Co swichać? What's up? Co swichać? And if you want to ask someone in a more polite way, in a more formal way, again, you have to ask a man, a sir, so you ask, co u pana słychać? Co u pana słychać? Co u pana słychać? And to a woman, you have to ask, co u pani słychać? Co u pani słychać? Co u pani słychać. A third way of asking someone what's new is co nowego. Co nowego. Co nowego. Co nowego. And as a answer you can say nic nowego. Nothing's new. Nothing's new. Nic nowego. Nic nowego. So the C letter is spoken as a C sound, nits, nits. In some languages, we change this C letter to a K sound. So it's not nik, it's nits, nits, nits novego, nits novego. Co novego, nits novego. What's new, nothing's new. So if you get asked, how are you? Or what's up? You can say thank you. I'm good. Let us have a look at the word thank you. In Polish, dziękuję, dziękuję. And we start with a DZE, like in the word dzień, the day. So, dzi, 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 very expanded, dzi, dzi. Then we have the E with a hook on it, dzień, dzień. And because the second E with the hook on it is at the end of the word, you have two several ways of saying it. 
Either you say dziękuję, dziękuję, so twice very nasal, or dziękuję, dziękuję, with a open, very clear e sound. Dziękuję, dziękuję, because the second e with the hook is at the end of the word. Dziękuję. Good or I'm good means dobrze. So we start with D, then an O, do, very open, B, dop, and then we have an R, Z. These both together form the sound Z, Z, with squeezed lips, Z, dobrze. So it's not dobrze or something like this, it's dobrze. The R and the Z are melting together. Dobrze, dobrze, dziękuję, dobrze. In a informal way, you can also say thanks. In Polish, dzięki, 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 dobrze, dzięki, dobrze. Dziękuję, dobrze, dzięki, dobrze. Up to you. If everything's amazing, you say świetnie with expanded lips. So it's not with squeezed lips. It's expanded. Świetnie. And we say every single letter. Even the T is very present, very clear. Świetnie. 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 If you want to say, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. You say, tak sobie. Tak sobie. Maybe you have a little headache. So you're not that good as on the other days. You say, tak sobie. Tak sobie. Tak sobie. Tak sobie. Tak sobie. And if you are very mad or nothing's good, you say źle. Źle. So with expanded lips, z, 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 then an L and an E. Źle. 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 If you want to say, everything's good, everything's fine, you say, wszystko dobrze. Wszystko dobrze. Let us have a look at the word everything. Wszystko. We start with a W and then we have an SZ. SZ together create the sound SH. And because it's very strong, we have to weaken the W sound. So it's not wsh, which you can see and hear is very complicated to say wsh, too much energy. We weaken it up to an F sound. So we have fsh, fsh, fsh. Then we have a Y, so it's u, fsh, fsh, stko, stko, wszystko, wszystko, wszystko. Wszystko. Wszystko dobrze. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Wszystko dobrze. Wszystko dobrze. But you can also say everything's bad. Wszystko źle. The word źle is very expanded. Show us some teeth. Źle. Wszystko źle. Wszystko źle. Wszystko dobrze. Wszystko źle. So that was our first part of basics, our first part of podstawy of Polish language. I hope this episode helps you in terms of how to greet someone in Polish and how to ask someone how you are. If you like this episode, please subscribe and I thank you very much. Dziękuję bardzo. Dziękuję bardzo. And I hope that you join me the next time to another episode of Hey Polska. For now, I wish you a great day and see you. Do zobaczenia. Cześć.